Welcome to the diary of an IT guy. Within the shadows of the digital realm, I, a mere IT support technician, found myself entangled in a web of horrors, lurking behind every click, every keystroke, and every flickering screen. The tales that follow are not for the faint of heart. They are the true accounts of the terrifying encounters that plagued my very existence. The names in the series have been changed. Not to protect the identity of the players, but because I just can't remember their names. <laughs> Join me for episode one. The case of the three dead CD-ROMs. For this episode, we going to have to transport you back to the 90s when CD-ROMs were more than just a piece of hardware taking space in your PC. So let's jump right in, tasked with replacing a faulty CD-ROM. And armed with a screwdriver and the replacement CD-ROM, I went on site to do just that. Ten minutes later, I was done. I tested the CD-ROM and confirmed it was working. With a bounce in my step, I returned to the office. Confident with job well done. However, it wasn't meant to be. One month later, the same client called. The CD-ROM you just replaced is not working anymore. You need to replace it. Sensing her frustration, I quickly gathered my tools and CD-ROM number two and drove to the site. Just like before, I quickly replaced the CD-ROM and tested it. With less of a bounce in my step and feeling less confident, I returned to the office. Two weeks later, the boss of the company called and laid into me. Look, man, the CD-ROM you just replaced is broken again. I don't know what crap you keep selling us, but this is terrible service. I apologized and assured him that the problem would be sorted out immediately. Once again, I collected my tools and a replacement CD-ROM number three and drove to the site. And once again, I repaired the CD-ROM and tested it. Dragging myself to my car, defeated and broken, I returned to the office. However, I woke up the next day feeling something sinister was at play. One faulty CD-ROM is strange, two faulty CD-ROMs unlikely, but three that was unheard of. Now armed with only my wit and the power of deduction, I decided to make a surprise visit to the client that murdered three CD-ROMs. And folks, what I found was beyond strange. It was my very first what the, what the F moment of my career. So I approached the boss who laid into me and showed him the cause of the problem. And this is what he said to me. And guys, you can make this stuff up. Oh, we all do that, but if your product was good enough, it shouldn't keep breaking. So, moral of the story. Sometimes the client is always right. And sometimes the client is just a moron. Guys, we love making videos for you, but we need your support. If you like this episode, please leave a comment and destroy that subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any episodes, don't forget to click the notification button.